Hey everyone, Roman Kozak here. Welcome to the third and the final tutorial in this three-part tutorial series on how to create a printed circuit board in Altium Designer. Altium is the world's most popular PCB design software and it's used at many big companies like Boeing and top engineering institutions. In tutorial one, we learned how to create a schematic, select components, lay everything out, connect everything together, as well as small details like um, using ports to connect signals uh, between schematic sheets and um, setting power net classes. In tutorial two, we learned how to lay out the components onto a printed circuit board and how to wire them together properly. In this final video, we're going to learn how to send this board off to manufacturing in China. So we'll be creating the manufacturing files that will be required to submit an order for this board. Now don't worry, ordering this board from China um, will only cost $5 plus $20 shipping and it will arrive in the United States uh, in approximately 20 days. So it will be fabricated and shipped and will arrive to your door um, usually within 20 days of you placing it for $5 plus $25 shipping. So that's pretty cool. Um, it allows you to really um, start making a lot of PCBs and just playing around. So let's get to it. But before I do, I just wanted to make a note of something I changed uh, from the last video. I just added uh, a couple vias here, ground vias, to further connect the ground planes around our um, charge controller right here. I also organized the uh, designators so they looked a little bit nicer here on the silk screen layer. Now let's create the production files. Go to design, board shape, create primitives from board shape. Set the width to 0.001 mil, just something very small. Make sure mechanical one layer is selected and include cutouts. So what this will do is it will just generate a board shape on the mechanical layer right here. Okay, now go to file, fabrication outputs, Gerber files. Start at the Generals tab. Make sure you have inches selected and select two colon, colon three. All this means is it's gonna have three digits after the decimal place. Um, we're not creating a high density board or a complex board, uh, so we don't need that increased precision. Now go to used on and it's going to turn all of the layers that are used on and make sure that mechanical one is selected because that's where our board outline is. Okay, leave this as is, as is, and as is. Okay, so you can see we've generated our Gerber files and they are located here under the generated folder. So you can see this is my bottom copper. This here is my top copper, etc. And let's rename this here to Gerber. Okay. Now let's go back to the PCB document and go File, Fabrication Outputs, and see Drill Files. And once again, go to Inches and have Format 2.3. And let's click Suppress Leading Zeros. Okay. And okay. And this is our drill file here. And we can rename this as NC drill. Save. Now navigate to where you have this project saved. 
So for me, it's right here on the desktop. So open up that folder and then you'll see project outputs for your project. These here are the files that we want to submit to the PCB manufacturer. So I'm gonna go right click, send to, compressed zip folder. And I can add the prefix Gerber. Okay, so this is a file that we wanna submit. I'm going to jump into the web browser and I'm gonna to go to pcbway.com. And right on their homepage, we can start to add an instant quote. The dimensions of our PCB are going to be 62.5 millimeters by 20.3 millimeters. I'm gonna choose the minimum quantity, two layers and 1.6 millimeter thickness. Okay, um, I'm just gonna verify that everything looks good. And if you remember, we designed our board to have an eight mil clearance. So six mil, of course, is fine. Uh, I'm gonna add lead free here. And you can see shipping cost to Canada um, or the United States uh, is only $20 and it takes three to five business days. And the board cost for five boards is $5. So that's pretty awesome. I'm gonna click save to cart. And then here I have the option to add Gerber files. So I'm gonna open up that folder where I have my Gerber files uh, saved in that zip folder. And I'm gonna drop them here. And then click submit order now. And if you give this a few minutes, um, you'll you'll get a successful status message here indicating that uh, your Gerber files have been approved uh, and that they there's no technical issues with them. So after they have been approved, you'll be able to proceed to checkout. And in uh, approximately 20 days, you'll be able to have these boards in your hand, uh, which is pretty awesome. Now, if you want to submit your own PCB way order, um, just follow the link in the description. It's very easy and uh, you'll likely get a $5 coupon uh, that you can use right away. Now, I just wanted to make you aware of another um, PCB manufacturer. There are many, many out there, hundreds, but one of my favorites is called Advanced Circuits. They manufacture their PCBs in the United States and they have a pretty awesome special if you're a student. So let's take a look at that. So if you're a student, you can get a board for only $33. And you do have to ship it, I believe, to a university address. Um, and the boards will be manufactured in three days. So you can imagine if you submit the order today, manufactured in three days, and then it's at your door, uh, maybe overnight shipping. So within the week, which is pretty awesome. And the difference is here, it's made in the United States. So um, you're, the process is a little bit more controlled uh, and these folks are great. You can uh, email them or call them with questions and they might even take a picture of your board being manufactured, which is pretty cool. So PCBWay and Advanced Circuits are both great options to order your board. Now, before I finish here, I just wanna take one last look at our project um, here in Altium 365. So I'm going to save and save this project to the server and I'm gonna say um, fabrication files generated. And I'm gonna commit that. Okay, let's open the web browser and refresh the page. And you can see here that less than one minute ago, there was a update. So let's open up the project. Here, once again, I can see my two schematic sheets. So one for the charge controller 
and one for that step up DC to DC converter. I can also see my PCB here. And I can see the 3D view as well. And I can take a look at the bill of materials. And of course you can click on a designator and it'll jump to where that part is in the schematic. Now something I really like about this web viewer is that you can see all of the commits you have made. So you can see my project was created 11 hours ago with my initial commit. Then I added all my components to the schematic. I connected the components together. I finished the schematic. I finished the PCB layout and I uh, created the fabrication files. So that's pretty awesome that you have a nice streamlined uh, repository here. And one last thing I just wanted to highlight um, is if you ever um, wanted feedback on your design, you could always send the link to this schematic and an engineer um, or a mentor can add comments like this. And they could leave a comment here. Just like that. That's it guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you were able to learn something or make something. And don't forget that you can download a free trial for Altium. It's super easy to sign up. Just hit the link in the description. And especially if you're a student, you can get Altium I believe for six months free. Of course no credit card required. Um, and it should be very quick. Now if anyone made it through all three of these videos um, and has Gerber files in their hand, please send them to me um, and I'd be happy to pay for the PCB manufacturing for the first five people that send me their Gerber files. So you can find my email for that in the description below. Thanks so much again for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.